Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install and play Nintendo GameCube or Nintendo Wii games on your Mac. So in front of me I have my MacBook Air 2020 with an M1 chip, which is the Apple Silicon chip. And currently at time of recording in November 2020, there aren't that many emulators that will work on this particular computer. However, the version of Dolphin, which is the emulator for GameCube and Wii games, is working extremely well. So I'm just going to um, teach you how to install this emulator, how to load games, how to configure your controller. Then I'll do some demonstrations of how these games perform on the new Apple Silicon chip. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to go to the Dolphin website, which I'm going to link in the description. And we're gonna to go to the download page, which we're on at the moment. So Dolphin 5.0 hasn't been updated for a long, long time. So it's a good idea to pick one of the beta versions, which is more recent. So what I'm going to do is pick the latest beta version, which is this one here, 5.0-12716. I'm going to click download of the Mac OS version. So once Dolphin's downloaded, I'm going to double click on it, and then it's going to open the DMG file, which will contain the Dolphin application. And what we have here are two applications, which I'm going to drag to the applications folder. So I'm going to click on here on the applications um, folder here. I'm going to select both of these icons and then drag them into the applications folder. Once that's done, what we're going to do is double click on the Dolphin application. Now, if Dolphin doesn't actually open because it's not been downloaded from the App Store, it's throwing up this uh, gatekeeper restriction. What we're gonna do is go into System Preferences, go to Security and Privacy, and then we're gonna go to General. And if I tap here, this particular application is being blocked and we're just gonna click Open anyway to open the application and press Open here. So now we have the Dolphin application open. If you don't have a folder set for your GameCube ISOs, what you can do is double click on this blank space and it will ask you to select a folder where you're gonna keep all of your um, ISO files. So the next thing we need to do is to set up a controller. So what I'm gonna do is tap controller here. Because I'm playing a GameCube game, what I'm gonna do is to configure this GameCube controller. So this port number one really means player number one, and I'm gonna press configure here. So I have attached via Bluetooth my Xbox One wireless controller, and I'm gonna select that as the third option here. So what you do is you press this button, and then you can press the corresponding button on your controller, which I've got in my hand now. And then what we do in the next side is to keep going until we do all of them. So I'm just gonna clear this to show you an example. So I'm gonna press A and that will give me A and B, which is, I'm pressing the B button on my Xbox controller. This one's the X button. This one's the Y button. The Z button, I'm just gonna choose the, uh, the right shoulder button for that. The start key, etc. So you need to do this until you complete this whole process. close here and close here. So what I'm gonna do is show you, once you've configured your controller, um, is how to configure the graphics level. So if I click on graphics here, what I'm gonna do is show you the various enhancements. So because I'm recording this at 1080p, I will choose the um, three times native resolution, which is a multiplier of the native GameCube stroke Wii resolution. Um, if I was just using my normal internal um, MacBook Air screen, I might choose this 4X uh, display, which will be closer to the um, native resolution. Um, I'm going to not touch the anti-aliasing or um, anisotropic filtering levels because that seems to crash this at this particular version level, but um, that will be enough to um, give us the correct resolution. And then what I'm gonna do is load up Mario Kart Double Dash. So I'm gonna do a quick demonstration of what the performance level of Dolphin is like. And I'm just gonna switch the input now so that you can hear the game uh, sound effects. Let's go!
So I'm going to be experimenting a little bit with Dolphin and GameCube games and Nintendo Wii games in the future. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tech video.